Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about Hollywood getting in trouble over NFTs. Yeah. Uh, so this is really funny because, you know, we had so many people that were against NFTs and then uh, some of the people that they looked up to decided to hawk NFTs. Yeah, but here's, where does the line get drawn though? Because these guys are paid, yes, as, like to be spokespeople, but how's this thing different than other paid spokespeople for other products? And you might buy the product because you fell for it and it might not live up to what they promised, but how is it the celebrity's fault? Because they were just getting hired to, to promote. I, I don't know. It's like, well, you told me, so I trusted you because you're a celebrity. Well, that was your first mistake. That was your first mistake. Yeah, Jimmy Fallon never tells a lie. Never, ever, ever uh, no. Never tells but a lie. But Paltrow, she, you know, sells, she sells candles. I guarantee to not smell like her, her vagina. Are you allowed to, to test like, okay, we're going to blindfold you. You're going to smell two things. One of these is a candle and one of these is Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina. Which one is which? Yeah, trust me. There's no way her candle actually smelled like her areas. I, I can imagine somebody just like walking into an apartment and be like, oh my God, what is that stench? <laughs> yeah, no, I was like, oh, oh, you know Gwyneth too. <laughs> So we're gonna. We're, why she's divorced. Oh God, we're gonna we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about this uh, this debacle with Hollywood NFTs and all that. Remember when Brie Larson was loved by Twitter and then all of a sudden she wasn't because NFTs. Mm -hmm. Now I don't think she's involved in this one, but we got this one. We got a lot of other celebrities. So let's let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over. 282,000, almost 283,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so. Uh, YouTube tends to go through and unsubscribe people if you don't interact with the channel enough. That's true. Or they just unsubscribe you because it's like a Friday at three, you know? Yeah, right. They're <laughs> so. like, well, you're getting too close to another button. We got to stop that. Oh, we're not getting anywhere near a button. We're nowhere near a button. Um, we want a button. Push, push the like button. Push the subscribe button so we can get another button. That's right. I'm just sitting here like um, trying – I'm trying to wrap my head around this. So these people were shilling these NFTs and they were posting pictures of theirs and saying about how much they love theirs. And it was the ape ones, right? Yes. And they're talking about it. We saw it all over the place on Twitter and things like that. But at no time were you forced to buy one. And if you bought one and it bit you in the ass, I'm not really sure how you can see the celebrities over it. Well, they're saying, okay, so they were peddling the board ape, ape Yacht Club. And I remember Jimmy Fallon doing yes, the whole Yes, I remember. Segment. But they weren't disclosing that they actually invested in the company. Oh, so that you have to when you when you're given money or whatever, you're supposed to disclose that. Yeah, because I know like if you see articles, you're supposed to. If you see articles on uh, websites that are owned by media companies, a lot of times they'll say, "Hey, just disclaimer. You know, CBS owns Star Trek, and we're doing a review of Star Trek, and we're giving a positive review, but we also own Star Trek. Just so you know." Uh, you know, I've seen other blogs that do sponsor posts and something like that. They would have to disclaim, I guess, legally. I know they're really cracking down on it on social media. And a lot of it's because of Ryan's world, of all things, because he was, you know, uh, opening all these toys. And it turned out that the toy companies were giving him the toys. Right. And a lot of uh, influencers were giving positive reviews to things, not disclaiming that but they see, were given that's them. the influencer culture. And that's what celebrities are being used for. Before it was called influencer culture, celebrities were the ones that were given, you know, products to, to – you go to these events and they're given gift baskets so they, that yeah. you wear yeah. these clothes and, you, you know, promote their stuff because you like it. So they're like – they've been influencers for a while now. Um, I mean, I guess because they didn't disclose that, I can see it. But I'm also like – this is no different than any other time. You know, they're always have been out there hawking stuff. And they don't get sued for that. Like, if I buy a pair of shoes that I saw Gwyneth Paltrow wearing and she was telling me I should buy, and they the heel breaks off, is it her fault? Does she sell shoes that smell like her feet? If, if she was selling candles that smelled like her vagina and I bought one and I wasn't satisfied with the smell of her vagina, does, do I get a new I would say she's selling uh, seashells by the seashore, but she's selling clam. <laughs> That's what we're going to call it. Clam I'm just Gwyneth's clam jam. <laughs> oh, I want to stop talking. No, but I'm just like, I get where they're coming from. I get why they're I get why they're mad. I never would have invested in these anyway because I thought they were uh, stupid. I did. I thought <laughs> they were stupid. stupid. I, I just I just thought they were dumb. I'm like you're paying spending how much on this? And how do you how does someone not rip it off? That that's kind of the thing. Like I, I used to 
you know, we did multiple videos talking about people, you know, going on about the environmental impact of NFTs. I, I personally think it's negligible compared to social media. It's like you're complaining. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Twitter probably does more damage. It does. You, you're so actually, many ways. You're complaining about NFTs on Twitter when Twitter uses a lot of, you know, uh, electricity and a lot of energy, too. I just thought they were stupid. I just thought it's like, what what are you buying exactly? This is like DLC from a video game. It's like this, this is not something tangible. Speaking of stupidity, Fire Festival Island to be transformed into Lux Crypto Only Resort. What the hell? Was that an old article? Is this as an NFT? So it could have been yeah, like from last yet. month. I was like, oh my God. dang, that's dumb. I mean, talk about stupidity. All right, let's let's look at this. A lot of people named uh, Jimmy Fallon. I, I do remember that whole thing. He showed his ape on TV. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow showed her kitty. No. Um, she, she, no, she doesn't unless you smell it. She, she to um, smell. I like Madonna. Smell. Madonna. We were, Madonna's too busy out there trying to flash her boobs and try to be relevant. Madonna looks like a brat stole. Madonna now. went the off hell? the deep end. I don't what even the hell have words. Happened to Please Madonna. pay attention to me. All right. Yeah, let's get to the article. New York Post slew of celebrities, including Jimmy Fallon, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Madonna, and I know Kevin Hart, I guess, was involved too, are being accused of fraud for hawking Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs. According to a recent federal lawsuit, the group of plaintiffs claim that the A-listers peddled the non-fungible tokens, which have plummeted in value in the last year. They're probably trying to get some of their money back. But wait, but if they if they went up in value, they wouldn't be suing? Probably not. Uh, they said they peddled them without disclosing their investment in the company behind but them. But they probably, if it went up in value, they wouldn't have cared that they didn't disclose that. They're just pissed and they're trying they to lost get, money. They lost money because they made a dumb decision and they're trying to blame it on somebody else. They've lost money and they're going to take it out of Gwyneth's vagina. Candles. Candles. The company's entire business model relies on using insidious marketing and promotional activities from A-list celebrities that are highly compensated without disclosing such. You mean like it's been for years on commercials and spokespeople? Do you know how much people, do you, do you Prom see where it's given, how much they're given for spokesperson jobs? Promotional consideration provided by the yeah. board eight. Uh, yacht Club, uh, to increase demand for the Yuga securities, according to the complaint filed Thursday in U.S. District Court for the Central District of California. If it's California, California they'll probably win. Uh, the proposed class action suit says the famous NFT backers committed fraud by convincing potential retail investors that the price of these digital assets would appreciate. Well, that, but that, again, that's on you. That's like if you buy stocks and, they, and, and the stocks decline. Then you can't say it's the stockbroker's fault because you're the one that picked the stock. You know what I mean? If you were dumb enough to go buy this and it, it, it depreciated, then that's kind of on you. Like if you buy a, a lemon of a vehicle, there's lemon laws and stuff. But I mean, if you buy something and it doesn't do what you want it to, or it doesn't, it doesn't take. You know, you're advised, you buy a comic book to invest, and the value of that comic book plummets in a year. You can't go after the people that sold you the comic book. Oh, yeah, well, they they are because you know. Uh... This they doesn't are. make any sense to me. Uh, now some of those investments are worth about 10% of their original value. Well, that's called stupidity and bad investments. Uh, other celebrities named in the suit, Justin Bieber, Kevin Hart, Stephen Curry, Serena Williams, and her husband, who's the CEO of Reddit, which I did not know, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, The Weeknd, uh, DJ Khaled, Adidas, and Jimmy Fallon's production company, Election Hot Dog, are named as defendants. The suit claims that talent manager Guy Osiri was behind most of the promotions. So is this their agent? They share the same agent? I don't agent. know. Uh, recruiting famous people in exchange for payment through a crypto firm, MoonPay, in which he had also invested. This also helped MoonPay rake in cash, according to the complaint. See, my, my thing here is more that he was using, he was promoting his own investment company to make money. And it sounds like it's the agent guy that was kind of like, you know, he was laundering the money in a sort of way, like you know, so he 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 knew he invested, and he knew he he had a a, a stake in it. It's kind of like um, a lot of people don't know that a lot of the, uh, politicians uh, actually have stake in uh, student loan repayment. Uh -huh. So you, why is there no help for student loan repayment? Uh, I'm not saying people should be forgiven their loans, but I'm just saying like for interest rates or whatever. And sometimes it's because they they actually make money off of it. And things like it. It's kind of like that. So it is kind of like a double standard there. But that's that guy, not everybody else. Um, this kind of reminds me of, you know, some of the investment scams and stuff that a lot of Hollywood uh, people were involved in. Kind of reminds me of Aunt Becky and the college scandal. Oh, yeah. Kind of like that. You know, uh, that that's what this kind of reminds me of. Like a lot of times celebrities get roped into this. Now, here's the thing. People don't know in a lot of cases, you know, celebrities, you can't really sit around with large sums of cash in your bank account. Because the IRS likes it. They like to take it. Mm -hmm. So what these celebrities do is they take their money and they invest their money. So it's, you know, it, it's eventually they can cash out or they can, you know, dip into their stocks or investments or whatever. So somebody comes along and says, hey, Jimmy Fallon, just park your money over here. 
yeah, we'll give you a free NFT or whatever, and we'll give you umpteen million dollars. But it's and... not about giving him that. It's about the fact that he was promoting them. Apparently, he was promoting it. You need. And the thing is that, but you don't that. know. Like, okay, if you're promoting something, and then it turns out, you know, that, and you didn't know, and it turns out that there was like something wrong with the item you're promoting, that's still not like. It, 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 it was really a glaring problem. It was like, you know, okay, like for example, what was the one thing with the people that are promoting the um the Scotland? Like the Lord oh, and Lady. Oh, yeah, 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 um, yeah. I mean, those people are taking the sponsorship and they're just going to, you know, assume that the people that are wanting you to do this are going to be on the up and up because it's not going to be – it's not something people could look into very easily. Right. But then the other part of it is – but it also seems kind of out there. So you're kind of like, is it real? You know, but you never can know in all this stuff. So sometimes you're, inve- you're, you're investing or you're sponsoring something. It's not necessarily because you're being – negligent on purpose it's just that you really didn't know and sometimes there's no way for you to know again if these had gone up in value we wouldn't be hearing anything yes yeah, that's, that's part of the reason we're so kind of picky about the uh sponsorships that we take uh, we actually had that uh whether the title company came to us before and i said that sounds fishy as hell i didn't so I, we didn't do it but rain shadow legends i don't do it because i'm like i don't you know it's just i i don't know i i think i can see both sides of this i can see why they're upset but the flip side is yeah, the celebrities told you to do it, but if the celebrity told you to jump off a bridge, were you going to do that too? Yeah, some people probably would. Uh, so Fallon did a segment on NFTs. I remember that back in November of 2021, uh, telling viewers he got his first board ape uh, NFT through MoonPay without saying he had a stake in MoonPay. See that? He should have said that he had a stake in it. That, uh, he should have disclosed that. They said the purportedly organic segment on The Tonight Show was in reality a paid advertisement. Uh, for the NFT collection. Now on YouTube, because of, again, Ryan's world of all things. Now, if you, you know, do a sponsorship, you have to have a, a disclaimer and the little thing pops up in the corner and says paid. But sponsor. you know what? Even if he had disclaimed that, that he, they, he had to stake it and they gave him that, if it still wouldn't have failed, they still would go after him for it because you told, you said it was safe because you, you know, you owned it and it's still your fault. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't matter what you do. These people invested in this stuff because celebrities told them to. And now they're mad that they didn't get, they didn't get a return they thought they should get. Now, this is, this is interesting because I remember a lot of people talking about how stupid Justin Bieber was. They said the suit says Justin Bieber fraudulently claimed he purchased an NFT for 1.3 million when it was actually gifted to him in exchange for promotion. So they gave him. Okay, see so that he should have disclosed that. Yeah. So okay, it said Yuga Lab said in the statement it believes the suit to be without merit. Uh, in our view, these claims are opportunistic and parasitic. We strongly believe they're without merit. Look forward to proving as much. Uh, so they're going to court. The Hollywood Reporter was the first one that, that talked about. It. But yeah, lots of celebrities named in the suit here. Uh, Kevin Hart, come on, man. And that is that is Madonna, and she looks like a freaking Bratz doll now. I had to look, sit there and look at her for a while. I'm like, who is that? Who is that? Yeah, she does not look. She, she looks, looks weird. weird. Like I've seen her. She's doing TikTok videos now. I mean, she really strikes me as like somebody's grandma trying to go viral. Like it just, it's like you're freaking Madonna. What the hell? Yeah, I, at first I thought this was the same one because it says, but Tom Brady and and Giselle, oh, FTX, and, yeah, yeah, the FTX. Um. Yeah, I thought maybe it was the same one at first. But yes, that was going on. So basically what's going on is these these places like their NFT and cryptocurrencies are doing poorly. And now everybody's trying to blame the celebrities that – and I'm like – in, in some ways I can see where they're coming from. But I'm also like, but no one made you buy it. Like that's the risk you take with any of this shit. Like if someone told me, hey, if you spend $20,000 on this picture of a monkey, then, you know, you might make $100,000 in two years. I'd be like – it's not. I don't even have it tangibly in my hands. I mean, how do I know someone's not gonna rip that off? You know what? You know what is a scam? Hmm. Sham wow. Sham wow. How's that a scam? Because they, it doesn't work. Uh, you actually get it, and you're like, hey, wow, this didn't absorb as much as it was supposed to. Because it's called the sham wow. Like wow. They tell you in the name. I'm disappointed. They tell you it's a sham. Wow, right in the wow. name. It's a sham. I don't know. Wow. I never had a sham wow, so I don't know. I had one once. I'm like, it doesn't work. It doesn't do. It doesn't wow me. The sham wow doesn't doesn't do it for me. I am not wowed. Well, they told you the name. If you didn't catch on to that, that's your stupidity. Scam wow. Am I no, right? sham. Sham wow. I tell you. Right the name. It's in the name. <sighs> sham. Uh, yeah. So, guys, I think we're going to see a lot of this. But this is like, you know, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, what is going on in Hollywood that all these celebrities are supposedly have all this money have to resort to hawking NFTs for like a million bucks? I mean, look, that, that's a lot of money, right? For a normal person, a million bucks is a lot of money. But somebody like Jimmy Fallon is like, that's what you find in the couch cushions. I don't think he's got that much well, money. You know. um, he Once upon a time, he was funny. Um, <laughs> kind of. 
But it's just like, you know, I, if they weren't disclosing things, which they should have disclosed, and if he lied about how much he paid to try to get people to buy stuff, and they had vested interest in the company, so they were, it was, they would do better if the company would do better, that, and then didn't disclose that, that is kind of, mm. But if you're just yeah. making investments that because they said you should invest in this and it didn't do well, that's on you because you 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 went and gave them your money. Yeah, I mean, this is just another. I mean, there was a Ponzi scheme a couple of years ago that a lot of celebrities fell for, and and it's just, I mean, there are a lot. I mean, look, a lot of celebrities not very bright. They have their uh, their talent uh, agents or managers uh, come to them with offers and say, here, we'll give you an easy you know, whatever millions of dollars just to say nice things about this product. And they're not really going to look into it. They're just going to be like, yeah, I can squeeze that in. I can, yeah, they probably would. I mean, yeah. they, they should have disclosed it, though. Yeah. I mean, especially if ones that, you know, were had a best interest in the company directly. Then, you know, you should have, that should have been, that's kind of standard. Like with our blog, if somebody is, gets something as a perk or as a, you know, you're coming in to review something or whatever, we disclose it because you have to disclose you, that. Yeah, you have to, uh, especially being part of like certain ad networks and stuff. And uh, actually, you know, if we would find out that our writers were getting perks, uh, being and under our name, under our names, we actually have it in the agreement. If you write for us, that if you're taking perks on behalf of the blog and not telling us, and we find out about it, you're done. Because you know, yeah, that's, that's yeah, it. Because yeah. we got to be aware of that stuff just to cover our own, mm -hmm. you know, behinds. Um, anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.